pressure Oh, what's up my friends it is the start of a very very beautiful day fresh out the shower Woo! it's good when you have a good workout you have a nice cold shower then you fucking blast it up to the heat so it's real hot open up all your pores lather in that soap put that conditioner in right then turn it all the way cold again freeze your fucking balls off then rinse out that conditioner you got nice shiny hair you got fucking wicked cooled off body Oh, feeling great right now. <sighs> Good news. I got on the scale. Two, fifty, two! You know what that means? Down 1.8 from yesterday's weigh-in. I just worked my ass off. You guys wouldn't even believe what time it is. It's already like 1.30, but I had to put in a good workout today um, to be able to make sure I could lose what I wanted to lose. I want to be 250 on Tuesday. Today's Friday, so I can do it. Two pounds in like three days. That's nothing, you guys. I know that the healthy weight loss is about two pounds per week. That's what they say, but um, realistically, with the SST pills, the thermogenics, and the exercise, I'm dropping it like nothing. I'm drinking water, you know what I mean? I'm eating way healthier, so I'm just ridding all my body from all these uh, bad chemicals, bad things, and uh, thank God that mirror is not turned because you'd be able to see my bum. Yo, 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 yo. You guys ever just like feel yourself? I feel myself sometimes. Yo, yo, so I'm gonna go uh, meet up with my friend Reggie. Hopefully he's gonna be walking the same way as me. All right, serious question though. Serious question for you guys. Bring it in, bring it in. New glasses, contacts, or stay with the same glasses? I really need to know. What do you guys think? Yo, yo, I found this dude. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Look at this dog, dude. He's like, oh my god, I love you. Oh, he's a person I like. What's up, Palmy? What do you think, dude? No glasses? I think I look pretty good with no glasses. It's funny because I don't have glasses on me either. My boy Reggie, you've seen him in the vlogs. You know Reggie. Dude, I'm fucking beating sweat. Do I look any skinnier than the last time you saw me? Yes, you do. Really? Yeah. A little toner on the arms. That's what's up. It's this Xbox, dude. I'm telling you. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. It's, be, dude. No, like it's Mortal Kombat X or something. No, no, this game <laughs> shape up. It's a connect game, but it, it's oh, like, that's cool. yeah, it's like you do like um, jogging. Like, there's just one game where you like run on the top of this train, yeah. and like you gotta dodge shit, so you gotta like move to the side, move to the right, duh, duh. like duck. Yeah, duh. yeah. So it's like really high intensity, like cardio. Right. And like, dude, I sweat my ass off, dude. Like, it's pretty good, but it's also that and those SST pills, those thermogenic pills. They're like always heating my body up. Like, I'm sweating like a pig right now. Yep. I may have started eating before I showed you guys what I was eating for lunch. So, you know, just the fucking usual chicken, broccoli, quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. Everyone's kawaii. Fuck, it's hot. So me and Reggie had some some chill time. We watched some YouTube videos. He's gotta go pick up the girlfriend now at work. He's gonna go meet her up. All right, so Reggie just said that uh, he enjoys getting pranked. He likes when someone gives him a good prank, but he likes a good scare though. Can you um can you repeat how scared you want to be? Uh, I feel like you know people get upset when they get pranked sometimes, but not me, man. Like I need a good prank. I need a good scare. Like I want someone to come around a corner and get me like with a mask and just. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I need that. It's adrenaline. So you heard it. We're gonna get him, you guys. Reggie, when he's least expecting we'll it. We'll see. Yeah, if you're down to do prank videos or whatever, you just wanna what get some- What the fuck is that? You wanna get some random pranks in your vlog? Bye. Dude, fuck yeah. I wanna start doing pranks, for sure. Actually, I have a couple kids that have been hitting me up. One kid has a gorilla costume, so we're gonna try to get a banana costume. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, you want to do so much funny shit with mall? that? Yeah, dude, of course. <laughs> For some reason, I'm surprised. I'm literally surprised. hauling ass. Yeah, dude, just as fast as you can. <laughs> just have cameras set up like throughout the whole mall. Things like that, you know. Or uh. Yo, yo, the, yo <laughs> this person hasn't picked up their paper in about three years. Have you ever seen the like sneeze pranks? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You come up and you have like a spray bottle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people uh, get so yeah. pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Freak out. I just got pranked, dude. Okay, so I just <laughs> told Jamie that I would make signs for them. What? Vlogging. I'm vlogging. Okay, so I told the manager of the store, Andy, man, that I would make some more signs because I made a couple of these signs over here. And so Don, the lovely 
counter associate was like, I'm gonna go get him. I was like, don't tell him I'm here because I haven't made the signs yet. And she's like, I'm gonna go tell him. So she walks over to the door, opens the door. He's like, Jamie, come here. I'm like, oh fuck, are you kidding me right now? Literally about to like uh, dip. <laughs> oh, he's not even here. So good prank, Don, good prank. You got me hard. Isn't that what you are? I lied, she's assistant manager. <laughs> Damn, I can hear that car from here. Woo! It's hot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your shirt? The same color as that slide right there. Shit. And those I mean, girls' I mean, shirts, I mean, too. I mean, G Willikers. <laughs> <laughs> Little do you know, I did that on purpose, though. So, uh, I work at this great place called Annie Man's where I'm surrounded by cannolis all day, every day. Dumbass Charlie Beamer goes, Hey, can you hook it up with a cannoli? I go, I'd sooner put a cannoli shell over my non-existent phallus. To which he responded, What the fuck? I don't have a phallus. In case you don't know, a phallus is actually a penis. This teenage boy was telling me he does not have a phallus. A penis. There's a, there is a legitimate phobia that says that you can be scared of a duck somewhere watching you. A duck? Yeah, there's a phobia where you have an irrational fear. You have a fear that a duck is watching you somewhere at all times. It's an actual fear. Where they have Fuck anxiety ducks. built up over this. I wonder what drug that Potential guy was on. Potential duck. On a positive note though, it's nice that you guys go and uh, to each other to, uh, to pick each other up from work and shit. That's really cool. Yeah, it is. Yo, yo, what's up? Just got back from the walk, dumped out all my videos that were on my phone because, you know, you know how we do it up in here. Gonna take the dog out real quick. It's already 5.30. The day goes by so fast. I got something so awesome to show you guys in just a few minutes. Got something in the mail that I think you guys are really gonna like, so that's gonna be fun. All right, getting picked up some from, from some cool cats. Actually, remember the girl? from the bar that I was gonna ask out, but it got awkward. Yeah, her. <laughs> so we went to go try to play pool, but they're yeah. checking IDs. Oh, it is, but. It is, but he's an asshole. Wow, look at Ashley's got better tan than you. <laughs> you know what? How did that happen? You know, no, you tanned, are you kidding? Look at you. you know, well, I don't know, other stuff. Arm? I have poison ivy from catching a four and a half foot lizard. That's a pretty big lizard. Can yeah. you tell us the story? Yeah, I gotta use the My friend lost her lizard. Yeah, gauges. So you found it? I found okay. it. In, in poison ivy? Under poison ivy. Uh oh. Oh, that's. Oh, okay, bye. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I know, it's pretty normal up there in the sky. Except. What the fuck is that? It's pretty interesting. That looks rough. It's Kelsey. Hello. She just got back from a cruise. Yes, I did. To Bermuda. Uh huh. It was fantastic. I want to go next it time. It was magical. I want to go sorry. next time. You should. Okay. We're planning. Like 1200 bucks. Yep. Per I'll person. Take a grand. Yeah. Per person, that's it? That's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Daryl hasn't looked at my schedule yet, though. Because I need to work at noon. Sam. What do you guys think? These ones? Or these ones? You don't want these back, do you? No, they're not kids. Of course, back. I want them back. Oh. But I mean, right now, right? No, I don't need background. Alright, it's a good angle. We look good from this angle. Okay guys, what's up? We just warped into my bedroom. Hanging out with my friend oh, Jordan. Shit. With the with the chance stuff. The yeah, chance the chain is being very submissive. The chance. It's funny stuff. because last time Jordan and Chance were together, Chance was like fucking Wanted up Jordan's fight. shit, yeah. Wanna go to GameStop? I kind of need to go to GameStop. Yeah. I need to go to GameStop. So we might go to GameStop, just hang out, maybe grab some beers. Walking around all day. 250! Really? Yeah, nice. Look. Smoothies. Paleo smoothies. That's what's up. Thanks, Mom. That's for both of us. Um, yeah. Dog right. happy yeah. doggy. Yeah. Bar! She's looking at you like that. <laughs> that was bright purple. Yo, let's get a black light, seltzer water, it was bright purple. 
really? Yeah. It's pretty sick. Yeah. It's a homie right here. You're part of the vlog now. Welcome to the bucket. Yeah, the small bucket. It's not even the big bucket. It's like the little bro. We call it, we call it the MMB, the mini bucket. The mini bucket. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you really been here for two years, or have you just not updated your, uh... Um, I've actually only been here for a year. Really? I mean, uh, when I was working here, I had, like, the three-year tag. I've been here for, like, half a year. Three days, three yeah. weeks. <laughs> Homie. I no clue. Yeah, I'm um, Andrew Michael the Leo. Do you want me to write it down? <sighs> All right. We playing this shit. With me tonight, the record company's gonna give me lots of money and everything's gonna be alright. Maybe don't just sign that paper tonight, she said, but I can't work in fast food all my life. As we go on, we remember all the times we've Band together. My fucking boy! It's my yeah, fucking boy. boy right here! Yeah, boy! Dude, you look so white with this light. Let's back up a little white. bit. Back up, dude. Yo, what's up? My name is Andrew yeah, Michael DeLeo. This is Jordan Moscone. What's your middle name? Peter. It's a fucking nice middle name, dude. Peter. P. If your middle name is Peter, comment below. Let us know. Why did we name marshmallows after the peeps? Or did we name. Which came first? No, no, peeps, peeps came after marshmallows. Where did the name marshmallow come from? Cause it's yeah. M E is he M E or M A? Marshmallow, marshmallow, isn't it? M A L L O W? Yeah, I think it's. it's I don't know. Yeah, where the fuck did that name come from? That's a good question. Where, and what the fuck are marshmallows? Eggs, powder, what are sugar, sugar, oh, sugar. It's all sugar, sugar. sugar. Oh, what's, what the hell is a marshmallow? Sugar, we're going down. Swing. Mm -hmm. I'll be your number one with a bullet. Loaded. A loaded gun complex, cock it and pull it. We're going down, down in an earlier round. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go play some fucking poker. I'm gonna steal all his money. He's gonna steal my fucking chips. And then I'm gonna take them and cash them in for zero cash value. Zero <laughs> cash value. But if you wanna play poker with us next week at the poker table, which is here, let us know. Bring lots of money. So no, no, twenty dollar buy-ins. That's it. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's good though. We can drink. We're 21 years of age. <clears throat> okay, so here's the thing. Um, you might not be able to see this, but a cold trip nowhere. They are from Chenuel, Kansas. These fucking guys are awesome. Yo, Jordan. I'm I'm gonna have my friend Jordan open this, dude. Um, this what? was a this is a, a band's package to me. I want you to open it and just you know. Fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Oh Damn. shit, a T-shirt. Let's see, let's see, let's show them. All right, let's see. A cold trip nowhere. New age space punk. Yo, I've never heard that before. No, that's a sick So symbol. let's fucking support that. Fucking hashtag new age space punk. That's yeah. sick, dude. A Cold Trip Nowhere are my boys. I fucking love this band, dude. And their dad runs a label. He records bands, so that's sick. Check All right, what else out. we got in this fucking package? Check them out. Oh, Post shit. oh shit. Posters. All right, let's see. This is one of the 11 by 17s. That is a good poster. Let me tell you. You guys, let me. Okay, if your band wants to actually go somewhere, get an 11 by 17 inch poster like this. Because this is what you want to have that says, this is who we are, like, wait, fuck, wait, that wait. is so good. Dude, oh, this is my fucking boy right here. This is like my brother and I never even met him, dude. Christian Nichols, dude. That kid is like my brother and I never even met him, dude. Like, that's, oh, dude, they're fucking, when you work with bands, they're so receptive. They, like, are your friends, you know what I mean? Like, dude, this band, I'm telling you. We got more gear. We got a uh, fucking bracelet, wristband. kid. Of course, it w no set is complete without the CD. All right, we got a CD. Check out that. Check out that album art. That's pretty cool, actually. You like that? I, liked, I actually Yo, you like, like conspiracies, right? Well, conspiracies are cool, but that's... No, nah, this this band is conspiracy band, dude. That's the cool thing oh, about shit. this band, dude. You're gonna... Your look, look at the name of their first song. World Trade Center. Yo, that's thanks yours. for picking up a bundle, you sexy motherfucker. I hope all is well. From what I've seen via Facebook, it's been a tough year, and I hope shit starts working for the better. I'm heartbroken about the end of ROD, but understand that if it is time to move forth with new ventures... Sorry, I shipped this a day late. Been hectic here. Forgive me, please. On a l totally different note, I'm beyond excited for the new record, and I'm really looking forward to getting you a copy. 
thank you for all the love and support. Please still drop by next month. Much love, brother. Fucking Christian Nichols. Sorry, my handwriting blows dick. <laughs> Plus the crew. Yo, that's so fucking awesome, dude. Like, friends out there, dude. Like, I could show up at this band's doorstep and they would put me up. You know what I mean? And from a blind, like, uh, look, I say they're probably, like, more of, like, a a rock version of, like, people like Immortal Technique. So, like, (laughs) if you're into that stuff, check out this stuff. This is sick, dude. What a sick CD. Multiple genres. Let's hear what they have to say. You want to hear them, right? I do, I do. All right, we're going to go listen to them. Yo, what do you think? I think it's pretty good. For what it is? You think it's yeah. alright? Alright. The music video is awesome. No, they, they have a good sound. I'm just listening to their sound, and they have a great sound. And their message as well is good? Yeah. So basically, the bottom line is that Cold Trip Nowhere, these dudes are so passionate and even if you on, on a day-to-day basis you know if you see someone like giving their heart into something like they would do anything to make it happen like support a cold trip nowhere because dude these kids put their 100 percent heart into life dude yo this is riser die records motherfucker my boys <laughs> plant seeds and water right, we're gonna the seeds of others. we're gonna clean this up and play some poker and then uh i'll catch up and, and we'll edit the vlog yo 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 what's going on guys so this is kind of weird i've never actually done this really but uh me and jordan are sitting here kind of just watching some of my old videos and like i know it sounds lame but realistically it's been like 24 days and like that's kind of a lot of days if you think about it what have you done in the last 24 days you're gonna come out in just a sec i love you 24 days is a long time, so we're kind of reconnecting, and it was a good time because Jordan was like, yo, dude, you are an inspiring person, and that meant a lot to me because I try to be, you know what I mean? Like, you you are what you put into the fucking world, so if you think you're trying to be inspiring, then someone else is going to see you and be like, damn, dude, that fucking guy is inspiring, or that girl is inspiring, or whatever, you know what I mean? Fucking Jordan has hit a new, he's hit a new fucking land. Andrew has inspired me. Andrew it, has inspired me to like to see the world to get through the done. camera's eyes. You know what I mean? Dude, you know what? You just gotta like be able to put look at yourself. Like look at your fucking self, dude. Like yeah. every day I edit these vlogs and I look at my day. I say, what did I do with my day? Was I happy with it? Did I make the right choices? When I got on the scale, was I depressed? Did I make the choices that I wanted to see? That's important. That's so important to me. I shouldn't be letting her out really because it's just kind of like teaching her that if she whines, she'll get what she wants, but I kind of wanted her to be hanging out with you guys too. You're a good girl. Okay, last time you saw in the vlog, um, Jordan and Chance didn't get along all that well. Chance was kind of really like territorial, I guess, with Jordan. But when he saw her today, she was very the opposite way. She was very submissive, dude. It was crazy. So I'm showing Jordan the vlog right now that we had do the huge flip cup event because that was so much fun. And it was, there was like 15 people on each side of the table. Whatever you resist will persist, which means that whatever you passionately don't want that you were inviting to you, put the power of your passionate emotions into what you do want and bring those things to you. Focus is creating. Focus with emotion is powerful creating. So... I don't know, maybe I read it like too fast or whatever, but there's so much fucking truth in that statement. Think about all the things that you wake up and say, oh, you know what, I hope I don't get into a car accident, or I hope this person doesn't get mad at me, or, you know what I'm saying? You're giving power to those thoughts. All right, guys, that is fucking it for tonight. I'm chilling with Jordan, he's my boy, dude. Like, we're gonna grow so much together in life. Like, he has hit a new path right now where he's gonna blaze that shit. Um, he's gonna blaze a path, I mean. He just got the, he's getting the dirt off my shoulders because that's how we tight we are as fucking boys. All right, guys, Chance, you want to give them the message? Give them the message. Focus forward, you guys. Boom. Hey, you're an inspiration. (laughs) That's good, right?